Hey guys, this is Andrew Sluter, pastor of Bible Baptist Church here in Asheville, North Carolina. Wanted to do a quick video, um, just kind of airing out my opinion of um, Gene Kim. Uh, Gene Kim is the pastor of San Jose Bible Baptist Church over in California. Um, he's got a very large YouTube following. I've met Gene Kim personally. Um, he has preached behind my pulpit, and I just I wanted to do a video. Just kind of, you know, I get asked a lot about Brother Kim. Um, I get, you know, people who who ask me about, you know, different aspects of his ministry and all that. And so I'm just I'm just going to kind of clear the air, just kind of get my opinion out there of Gene Kim. Um, and so some of you are going to like this, some of you are not, but it, it is what it is. Um, I, I, I felt like I, I, I didn't have like this overwhelming feeling of, you know, Oh, I, you know, just the Lord's impressed me to make this video. But I just, I wanted to make this video. Um, so, Gene Kim, um, when I first met him in, uh, let's see, it was last year. It was March of last year. Um, I met him. I, I had talked to him a few times on the phone. He was actually going to fly out and, and just visit with us. And it just so happened to work out that the, the exact days that he was going to be, uh, that he was wanting to visit with us is when we were having our, our first uh, youth meeting. It was called the rally. It was like our, our our big youth meeting. We just had our second one this past March, and so I said, "Brother Kim, this is working out too good. Um, you know, this is this is this has got to be the Lord. Um, why don't you just preach our our youth meeting since you're going to be here?" And he's like, "Man, that sounds great." Um, and so I have a group of guys with me. We we go to the airport to pick him up, and I had no idea what to expect or anything. I had all these young guys with me. Um, Brother Kim gets in the car. And right from the get-go, people start just slamming him with questions, asking him this, that, or the other, you know. And and I can honestly say that that was one of the most enjoyable times of being around a Bible believer. And I've had some good times with Bible believers. But he was so kind. He was so gracious. He, he answered every question to the best of his ability, when he didn't know something or didn't know how to answer something, he said, I don't know. Or, I mean, it was just, he was so humble. He was, I mean, I enjoyed being with him. <clears throat> he preached at the meeting, did a great job. Um, here's the thing. I hear a lot of negativity about Brother Kim, just from a bunch of people, Internet, you know, every, every, everybody's got an opinion. But I've met Brother Kim personally. Uh, we have talked on the phone umpteen times. If I've got a Bible question or whatever, I'll call him. You know, uh, time to time he'll call me. You know, different things. We, we, we've had a good relationship that way. Um, and I, my honest opinion of Brother Kim is I think he has been absolutely a uh, not a sin. None of us are essential, right? The Lord doesn't need any of us. But God has used him in these last days in such a phenomenal way over the Internet and he's got a great, I've never been to his church, but I mean, I, I assume the church is a great church. Uh, I have no reason to doubt it. The Lord has used him so much over the internet. And he's got, I didn't check it before I started the video, but he's got 150, probably even more now. Who knows? He's got a whole, uh, over, well over 150,000 subscribers. Somebody double check me. If I'm wrong on that, you know, I'm wrong. But I'm, I'm almost positive it's well over 150,000 now. Um People are watching his stuff. He's an ardent King James Bible defender. He is a ar ardent defender of dispensationalism. Uh, he teaches eschatology. I mean, he's just he he's teaching the Bible, and his his videos are getting tens of thousands of views every single week. I am I, I travel a lot preaching. Okay, now uh, Brother Kim, to my knowledge, um, you know I, I pretty well know he doesn't travel a whole lot preaching out. Um, that's not the ministry that God has given him. Um, he, so he doesn't travel much outside of, uh, outside of his own pulpit. Okay, I do. I travel a lot outside of my own pulpit. I, I'm in a lot of different churches, almost a different church every week. And almost every single church I'm in, somebody comes to me and says, Hey, do you know Brother Gene Kim? And I'll say, Yeah, I, I know Brother Kim. And they'll say, Man, I, 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 I watch his videos and I learn so much about the Bible. And, man, he got me settled on dispensationalism. He got me settled on, you know, King James Bible, whatever it may be. And every, almost every single church I'm in, somebody's asking me about him, and it's in a positive way. 
I mean, just uh, two weeks ago when I was in Idaho, I had a guy come up to me, a guy from Russia, and he said, hey, you, you know Brother Kim? I said, yeah, I know Brother Kim. He goes, <clears throat> he led me to the Lord. And he had got saved there and then moved out to Idaho and was going to church out there in Idaho. I mean, people who get saved over the Internet from his ministry. So, um, listen, man, uh, do I agree with everything Gene Kim says? No. I don't agree with everything anybody says. I don't even agree with myself sometimes, okay? But, uh, but he has been a major influence for dispensationalism, King James only, you know, Baptist church. I mean, it, it, it's, it's been very positive. And I think that whatever criticism he may get, you know, even, even if it's legitimate, and I'm not even going to bring up criticisms that I hear, but even if it's legitimate, the amount of good that he is doing online, and I know people throw off all the time on YouTube and stuff, and I can understand that to an extent. YouTube is no replacement for the church. YouTube is no replacement for you sitting under a pastor and getting fed, and, and Brother Kim believes that too. Brother Kim's channel is not designed at all, and his intention is not at all for that to be a replacement for church, okay? But the generation, my generation, 40 and under, we are online, we're on the internet. If you've got a smartphone, you've got access to YouTube. And so people are going and they're Googling and they're searching. And they're, they, listen, we've got a generation now that instead of reading their Bibles or looking in a book, they just simply Google it online or on YouTube. You know, questions to Bible, or, uh, uh, they're looking for answers to Bible stuff. And so they're going online. And so I, I'm online, I'm on YouTube. My presence isn't nearly as much as Gene Kim's. So I'm thank listen, I'm thankful that when somebody goes online and types in King James Bible or dispensationalism or pre-trib rapture or eternal security, I'm glad there's a heavy hitter out there that's got, you know, 100,000 plus subscribers that's one of us. Because listen, there's a whole lot of guys out there that ain't us that are deceiving people. And I'm glad that there's a guy that's of our stripe that's out there getting the truth. So whatever criticism that he may get, whatever criticism you may have, okay, even even if it's semi-legitimate, it, it I mean it doesn't even it, it pales in comparison to the amount of good he's doing. And guys, I have seen it firsthand. I know his attitude. I know his spirit. He's humble. He's gracious. He's kind. He's considerate. I mean, he 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 is a good man. And so, uh, anyway, I, I, just, I just wanted to kind of clear the air on it. And, and you say, well, and listen, it's, it's so easy to criticize a man. It's so easy to criticize a man um, when, when you've not done anything yourself, okay? You've never started. He went out there to California. He's in Silicon Valley, started a Bible-believing church. That's not for the faint of heart, okay? He's a soul winner. He's a street preacher. The dude has an earned doctorate. Or, I'm sorry, <laughs> nix that an earned degree from Berkeley University. The guy's got a doctorate from Dr. Ruckman's school, okay? But he's got an earned degree from Berkeley on top of having that degree from Dr. Ruckman's. The guy's not an idiot. And I saw, you know, somebody criticizing him just this past week on Facebook saying, you know, uh, you know, saying that he doesn't compare to other great apologists. Well, listen, in my opinion, I think, he, I think he's a great apologist. I think he's giving good people good ammunition to combat uh, atheism and evolution. I think he's doing a fine job. And uh, just because you don't think he's intellectually up to par with one of the little, you know, neo-evangelicals that you like, doesn't mean he's not influencing people. Doesn't mean he's not accomplishing stuff for the Lord. Listen, there's great apologists out there, but they're not King James. They're not Baptist. You know, some of them even believe in some funky stuff. Some of them don't even believe in an eternal hell or a literal hell. And I'm not knocking them. I, I think we can glean good stuff off of that. But, I mean, here you've got a Bible-believing, independent, Baptist, King James only, dispensational, blah, 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 preacher who is giving good, solid, thorough, apolog apologetic material. That's what I was going to say, apologistic, but apologetic material, okay? So I'm for the guy. I like him. I think he's doing a lot of good. And so there it is. For what it's worth, there is Andrew Fluter's opinion of Gene Kim, okay, and uh, and I, I actually just bought his book, Ruckmanism Ruckus, uh, from the bookstore down there, and uh, and it's good, man. It, it just it goes through all the stuff about people. You know, we get labeled Ruckmanites and all that kind of stuff. It just goes through all the stuff, sifts through all the criticisms and all that, 
and uh, and I'm reading it, and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So, anyway, folks, there it is. Listen, if you don't like Gene Kim, fine, whatever. If you don't like me, fine, whatever. I don't care who you like and who you don't like. But uh, I, I wanted, I didn't like feel compelled of the Lord. I know I, I wanted to make this video and uh, just kind of give you my opinion of Gene Kim and his ministry. I recommend it wholeheartedly, all right? All right, well, listen, folks, God bless you. Uh, we're praying for y'all, and uh, have a wonderful week in the Lord.